So welcome back to Wargear Reviews for a smartphone gaming speed test on the OnePlus 6, the Xperia XZ2 and the Galaxy Note 8. So I'm going to be testing a bunch of really demanding games on these three phones to see which one loads up quicker. And at the end I'll also be doing a RAM test to see which ones can keep the games in memory the longest. The first game I'm going to test is PUBG. So the OnePlus 6 has whited out a bit here which was a bit unusual but it does seem to keep the pace with the XZ2. And I believe the Sony won this one, followed up very closely by the OnePlus 6 and the Note 8 is hanging just a bit on this game. So the second game I'm going to test is Shadowgun Legends. And this is by far the slowest loading game that I tested for this video. And it's probably down to how graphically demanding this game is. You should definitely check it out. So the winner here again is the Sony Xperia XZ2. Followed up by the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. And the OnePlus 6 finishes in third. The next game I tested was Warhammer 40k Freeblade. And the screen response on the OnePlus 6 definitely gives it a bit of a head start. From the moment I touch the screen, it just opens up so quickly. And I kept tapping the screen on the OnePlus because I wasn't sure if you could skip the loading screen. But unfortunately you couldn't. But the OnePlus 6 wins this one, followed by the Xperia XZ2 and then the Galaxy Note 8. So the next game I chose was Tekken, another very graphically demanding game. So once again the Sony Xperia XZ2 wins, followed by the OnePlus 6 and again the Galaxy Note 8 finishes in third place. Next up Dead Trigger 2. So it looks like the OnePlus 6 actually loaded this one a lot quicker than the other two. And it did, it actually loaded the game first, followed by the Xperia XZ2 and then the Note 8. Now, Injustice 2. And you can tell by the loading bars that the Snapdragon 845 in the OnePlus 6 and the Sony Xperia are definitely beating the Samsung Exynos chip. And on this one the Sony wins again, followed by the OnePlus and the Note 8 at the end. And the last game I tested is FIFA 2018. Super fast loading time on the OnePlus and on the Sony on this one. And there we go, I think the Sony just edged out the OnePlus by like a millisecond and the Note 8 really took a bit longer on this one. So at the end of this, I did a bit of a quick RAM test just to see 
if the phones were able to keep these games in storage. So I went back to the first one, PUBG, and surprisingly, the only phone that kept it in storage was the Note 8 with six gigs of RAM. Then I tried Shadow Gun and all three phones needed to reload the game. Then I tried FIFA. The only phone that was able to keep it in the background properly was the OnePlus 6. When I tried Injustice, the only phone that wasn't able to store Injustice in the background was the OnePlus 6. Then I tried Dead Trigger 2, and as you can see, the only phone that needed to reload this one was the Sony Xperia XZ2. So that's the quick background and speed test on these three phones. I believe the Sony actually came out on top when it came to loading times. When it came to backgrounding, it's hard to say who really won. The OnePlus has the most amount of RAM, but the Note 8 really surprised me and the Sony really suffers with that four gigabytes of RAM. You can get a six gigabyte version. It's definitely out there, but not here in the UK, unfortunately. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see any more different kinds of comparisons, let me know in the comments below this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and you will be one of the finest subscribers known to man. And I'll see you in the next one. So don't be late. The rest is quite simple, really. Word has been leaked via the underworld grapevine.